Hello, my name is Kevin, and I've been infected with the HIV um, since 94. That was when I became aware of it. So once I found out that I did have um, HIV, um, I was in denial. Um, I didn't really understand the whole concept of it, so for a year, I didn't take any treatments whatsoever until when I came down with a very severe cold and it barely took me out of here. So after doing much um, medical treatment, I decided to go ahead and start taking my regimen of the HIV. Things went well. I was having a few complications coming and going, um, but through it all, I was able to stick with my regimen. And around 2000, I became aware also that my kidneys were shutting down on me. So with a combination of HIV and going on dialysis, it was an impact in my life. I was uncertain at that point what was going to happen in my life. So I went along with the treatment, the dialysis treatment, for 12 years on top of having the HIV. Life was very crucial and difficult during that time. I had sleepless nights, confused, not really knowing what to do. But all I could do was um, trust in God and know that he was going to make a way for me, some kind of way. Because I know he didn't bring me in this world to just leave me hanging, you know. So I was able to rely on him through faith to be as... Um, capable of going through it through the long call. In 2011, after being on dialysis, um, I was able to go through and have a kidney transplant. They had stated that being that I was HIV and being on dialysis, it was going to be a real um, risky um, procedure. But through it all, they said, well, we can work with you, and we will see what had happened. And I knew it was like an experimental um, procedure, but I was willing to um, see what was going to be the outcome of it. So through it all, I had a kidney transplant, had a few complications coming and going, and as of today, I'm doing quite well. My viral load is undetectable. My HIV, uh, my T cell count is around six hundred dollars. I'm excuse me, excuse me, six hundred, um, and life is going well for me. Um, and I enjoy sharing my testimony to others who might be going through the same thing that I went through, trying to encourage them and let them know if you stay focused. And if you take your regimen and follow the doctor's orders, you can have a longevity life ahead of you. It's not a death sentence. So, in saying that, I hope I have said something that will encourage you, that will empower you, that will strengthen you, to give you the motivation to press on and strive to be the best that you can be. Your life is not yours, it's the Lord. So may God bless you. And take care.